This video is provided for informational purposes only. The contents of this video cannot substitute for proper training under and implementation of industry standards applicable to servicing and testing of electrical equipment. You must carefully review and follow OSHA, NFPA, and other regulatory requirements, equipment manufacturer's instructions, and your company's safety procedures when conducting any testing or servicing of electrical equipment. The demonstrations in this presentation were performed by trained professionals in a controlled environment. Do not attempt to induce an arc fault, arc flash, or any other condition that could potentially damage electrical test tools or equipment, or otherwise create any increased risk of personal injury. In addition to shock hazards, one of the most dangerous situations anyone working with electricity faces is an arc flash. An arc flash is an explosive release of energy from an electrical arc when the electrical current passes through ionized air. In less than a second, an arc flash is initiated from a phase to ground or a phase to phase fault. It can result from accidental contact with the electrical systems, the buildup of conductive dust, corrosion, dropped tools, or improper work procedures. The plasma arc has a virtually unlimited current carrying capacity once it's established. The energy of an arc flash converts primarily to heat and light. Within a millisecond, temperatures at the epicenter of an arc flash can reach 35,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's four times hotter than the surface of the sun. These high temperatures are capable of explosively vaporizing metals such as aluminum and steel. The presence of copper can help sustain the plasma arc, causing a single phase arc to propagate into a three phase arc. The arc blast that closely follows is a dynamic pressure wave created by the instantaneous expansion of gas. The pressure wave can cause panels to rupture, create flying debris, acoustic injuries, and physical trauma. An arc flash lasts until the overcurrent protective devices open the circuit. A fast-acting fuse may open the circuit in several milliseconds, or a circuit breaker may operate within six cycles or less, but by that time, the damage has already been done. You might think that these are isolated or infrequent events, but that's not the case. Industry sources estimate that in the U.S., five to ten arc flash accidents occur each day. The U.S. Bureau of Labor reported that in one recent year, a thousand electrical workers suffered shocks and burns, some fatal. It is estimated that 50% of these injuries were related to arc flash. While you can't totally eliminate the dangers of working with electricity, with careful planning and applying what you've learned here today, you can reduce them. On behalf of everyone at Fluke Corporation, thank you for watching.